YouTube family and subscribers. Lorraine here, Xena VSG Warrior Princess. <clears throat> so, many of you already know that I um, had my three month post op appointment with my surgeon, and, and that was this past Wednesday. And then Thursday was the 9th. No, wait, Thursday, excuse me, was the 8th. And that was my official three-month surgery. So yay! And I am officially drum roll, a hundred pounds down. So I am now at two forty-seven. Woohoo! That's right, hundred pounds down. So I'm really excited about that. I wanted to go ahead and make a video about it because I know I'm not. Probably, maybe not everybody is on Facebook or in the Facebook community. So I wanted to at least share that with you. And um, I had a really, really, really good talk with my surgeon. And he reminded me that, you know, there, that this surgery is not so much about restriction as it is, yeah, okay, so part of our stomach was removed. But the reason why it was removed was because of the hormone, uh, the ghrelin, and the portion that actually stretches of the stomach. But he reminded me that, he's like, Lorraine, the moment that I cut the stomach, your body automatically reverts to its set point. Um, and I know... Um, Betty Lou who she doesn't make videos but <clears throat> um, if you find me on Facebook it's Lorraine Zena VSG WP Russell um, on Facebook and Betty Lou who she's on there and she puts out these wonderful um, blogs and I've mentioned them before and she has a great one about set point. And it's really important for people to understand that because <clears throat> we have this window of opportunity where we get to take advantage of that. And this is where the whole metabolic stuff happens. And that it is not so much restrictive surgery. Now, I keep in mind, I've had the vertical sleeve, um, VSG, and it's physiological. So the mo he was saying the moment that that was cut, uh, while I was on the table, as soon as that was cut, body goes back to, starts to revert back to whatever its set point is. And whatever that is, is, is what it's going to be. So yeah, while well, we put a goal in place, and we talked about that. And I told him, I said, you know, yeah, we talked about my goal being 170, but it's going to be wherever my body takes wherever it goes. I mean, if it goes lower, it goes lower. If it goes to 180, it goes to 180. Um, I am, you know, granted, no, I would not be thrilled if this would be it for me. But I have to say, being 100 pounds down, I am a whole lot healthier than I was. And to put that into perspective, I had to buy some dog food, and I think the bag was 45, 40 pounds, and I hiked that up to the stairs, you know, threw that over my shoulder, hiked it upstairs, and, because I live in an apartment on the second floor, and I, I went up the stairs just fine, but when I got to the top of the stairs, of course, my legs were a little wobbly, um, because they just, I need to start doing some strength training, so I noticed that I was like, wow, imagine if I had two of these going up the stairs. And that's how I, two of those plus 20 pounds. And that's what, where I was every day. Um, so I will say my asthma is gone. Um, it only kind of kicked in a little bit when I had my chest cold. But for the most part, my asthma is gone. Um, I definitely feel better. Mentally, as far as my depression goes, I'm still on my medication, and thank God, because of all the hormone changes that are happening, um, 
but I'm definitely more energetic. I'm pretty sure my numbers and stats when it comes to blood work are doing much better, um, which I get those done in another three months. So I get that done at my six-month mark. So one of the things, you know, and as most of you know, I started running, but I haven't really done that in almost three weeks because of being sick. And I just did not feel comfortable in the chest um, because it is freezing here. I know you guys up north are in sub-zero temps, but 14 and 18 degrees, 30 here in Atlanta is bone chilling, okay? I mean, it is freaking cold. So, um, yeah, that is not, you know, and I do like to run outside. Now, I have run out, ran in the cold, um, but when it gets down into below freezing, that's when I kind of, I have my limitations because I just don't want to get sick again after coming right off of that. So, anyway, moving right along. So, my surgeon and I were talking about exercise, and he told me, he's like, Lorraine, I really want you to back off on the, so much of the cardio and focus more on the uh, weightlifting. Um, he said that, he goes, remember, it's physiological change and the whole metabolic. Your metabolic rate is already way higher. So is your resting, uh, your resting heart rate is all, you know, all that stuff is your, and the resting metabolic rate. All of that is much different than where you were um, due to the surgery. So he said that in the end, you're still going to be burning X amount of calories. He goes, but I'd rather you be burning the fat, exchanging the, uh, the fat for lean muscle. He was just really concerned that doing too much of the cardio stuff that I would be losing um, lean muscle tissue. So I'm going to, and I agree, I need to start doing that. Um, plus, me being in my 40s, um, I'll be 44 this year. So it would be a good idea for uh, me to start doing some weightlifting, weight training, because um, that's actually really good for us as we age for bone density purposes. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, as far as my intake of vitamins, supplements, I'm on point for all that. So, oop, hi, Hank. Here's my cat. I guess he decided he wanted to um, say hello. Hi, Hanky. What are you doing? Yes, I love you, too. Um, anyway, so that's what, that's what I'm going to shoot for. And, um, you know, again, with the scale, I'm going to try to continue. I'm going to continue with not weighing myself um, because I did notice, like, oh, okay, well, Maybe if I try to embrace the scale and get on it once a week, you know what? I have to, I, I'm going to admit this, so here, here we go. I did that, and guess what? I jumped on that fucker every day, sometimes twice a day. So I know, Hank, you know, people don't want to see your butt. I know that ugh, it's just a disaster. I gotta still deal with that whole mental thing, so I'm just I'm gonna stay away from it. Um, and I think I will actually I'm gonna see if I can't stay off of it for an entire month. If I can do it for three months till I get to my six month post op, that would be fantastic. And really, really, really focus on my exercise and my eating. Now, this video, there's going to be a video following this video because I really wanted to make this one about celebrating my 100-pound loss. Um, 
But I have to say that because I got so excited and woohoo, you know, 100 pounds down, let's celebrate. Even my surgeon was like, hey, that deserves cracking open one of your vintage bottles of Cabernet. You know, have a glass of wine. It's okay. Well, my brain interpreted that way differently. And I'm going to share that with you in my next video. So, another video to come. So thank you all for watching, and I hope everyone is doing great. It Today is Saturday, and I, oh, I do have something really, really, really exciting. I am meeting up with Jennifer, Truth Be Naked. Um, that's her, what she goes by on um, Facebook. So I am looking forward to meeting up with her this evening. We're going to hang out, you know, just kind of get to know one another you know, in real life instead of Facebook land and YouTube land. So, yeah, I'm really excited about that. So, Jennifer, if you happen to catch this, looking forward to hanging out with you tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, she just happened to be going to a conference here in uh, downtown. So, and of course, I live in the city in Buckhead, so I'm just probably not even two miles down the street from where the convention center is. So I'm really excited about that. That's going to be great. So um, we'll probably post up a video about that too later. Anyway, I'm going to go to start this other video because it's really, really, really important. So stay tuned. Bye, everybody. I love you. Thanks for watching. Oh, and have a good weekend.